Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another episode of History Talk. It's been a while since I've done one of these last, so, you know, why the heck not? This one's probably going to be waiting for me to finish up so she can watch it, so. Yeah, no, yeah, Andy. I mean, that you can do regardless. But anyway, I digress. Um, today we're actually going to be talking about, well, something called an anathesis. Um, or sh um, more specifically, the term America. Yeah, I know. America. That's something you hear a lot. And in the South. Yeah, in Amer in U the U.S. For those who are watching this who are not in the United States, Southeast, like it's like in Southern North states. Yeah, pretty much. Um, uh, there, there's. It's been a stereotype for a long time. From there, but actually, when I looked this up, this is kind of the detail that I found very interesting. That, no, it's not. People think it's a redneck version, but no. The term has existed long before rednecks were even a thing. Yeah, but the actual idea of redneck wasn't a thing. Um, the term actually coursed way back from the 1800s, and it wasn't even like the America we say now. America. It wasn't that at all. It, it's always been a shorter way of pointing out uh, the term America. But realistically, when it was first kind of spread as a term, first of all, it was actually spelled M-U-R-I-C-A, not apostrophe M-E-R. Um, that for particular term actually came from a bunch of patriots who were trying to emphasize on at the time how patriotic that they were towards their country that they lived um, it's a very interesting detail because actually like things while you were just laying out for the longest time I myself actually thought that it was just like a uh, southern way of saying America for short, but when I found that, I was like, really? Huh. Ironically, on the same page, it was it was one of those pages that get advertised a lot, so you see ads everywhere on, well, not everywhere, it's not like a virus page or anything, but I made sure it was reliable, and ironically it was, so. I looked a little bit more into it, and the strange thing is, it was like right around the same, it, it was about a hundred years after, or not a hundred, that's an over-exaggeration by quite a bit, but it was around the same general time as when um, different parties were more or less becoming a thing. When it started spreading, and it was more well known as, you know, the patriot, patriotic kind of thing I just explained. Within the 1800s, it didn't really develop until how we know it now, as in more of a southern thing, until about, I think it was, if I remember correctly, it was like the early 1900s, maybe a little, maybe mid 1900s at best. But I do find it interesting. It kind of, makes it very interesting to me how much this actually changes. Uh, regardless, I mean, there's not much I know about it, but these are kind of my thoughts on it. I don't know what you guys think. Um, do you guys have any other um, historical type topics you'd like to have discussed on here? Let us know in the comments below. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you really like it, consider subscribing to my channel. I'm going to head off tired of waiting to eat, so, and watch her thing, so, maybe, eh, fair enough, yeah, you can, as I, as I said yesterday, uh, if you saw the vlog, it is pretty late, so, gonna head off, thanks again for tuning in, guys, and we'll catch you guys later, bye.